Is a world without annoying people possible? The Stoics would say it probably isn't. So when you meet an obnoxious person, Marx really says, when you meet someone who's annoying, when you meet someone who's dishonest, when you meet someone who's a jerk, you would say, it's inevitable that I would meet one of these people because they're a percentage of the whole. And his point was if you can first accept the existence of something, then when you encounter the individual instance, it's not so bad. You know it's never always gonna go your way. You know that not every flight is gonna be on time. So some of your flights are gonna be delayed. And you say to yourself, this is one of those flights. And you do that about people. And Marcus Aurelius had to do this over and over again in meditations. In fact, he opens one of the books with a meditation reminding himself that he's gonna meet people today who are annoying and obnoxious and jealous and dishonest and all of these things. They're fulfilling their role, they're doing their job, get over it, move on, and focus on doing your job, which is not to be those things, which is to put up with those people. That's how life works.